My greatest want in life is control. To control everything is to play the greatest game. I have always feared death, and therefore have been careful to play in a manner that has preserved my life. For most, the end signals a new beginning. For me, the end will be simply the end. No more. The game must be played to its conclusion, and someday I will arrive at that place. But hopefully, not today. It is an intriguing idea, though. Death is the most compelling journey in the universe. The ultimate unknown. As a man of science, I have always stood in wonder of it. Sir, the scans are turning up nothing but troop movements. They've taken over all major areas of the city. The civilians seem ready to fled or being decimated. I have faced many dragons in my time, but none more furious than the one I face now. Mechanized troops have gathered en masse on either side of the Thames. The bridges have been hastily replaced, and all major centers of government are quickly being reconstructed. Under his flag. I see. Let us examine Baker Street, shall we? You sure you want to get involved in this again, Professor? I'm involved in my capacity as commander of this vessel. I do as I see fit. I understand all that, but... What I think Colonel Moran is saying is that we cannot afford you losing your head over the detective again. Yes, thank you, Jane. Your concerns are noted. This particular dragon has always represented the possibility of a special kind of death. The sort that frightens me to my core, yet propels me to press on into the abyss. The 221B tower is in sight, sir. Scans are showing one living inhabitant on the top floor. And although I slay him time and again, he always seems to find his way back to me. We have always been the central players of history. And the rest of the world has existed in support of our conflict. Not today, Jade. You always thought I was here to do your bidding, James. But I have never taken orders from you. And I have never given any. You do as you wish. I have always admired that about you, my dear. I admire very little about you. You are nothing but your petty ambitions. Yet you have seen fit to stay in my company for all these years. You have always intrigued me. The great mystery of life seems entangled with the great mystery of you, James. Now, as we always do, let us race to the bottom of the pit! That bothersome woman will be joining me, Moran. To keep you lot alive, mostly, I will take the north end of the street, James. This is not necessary. It most certainly is. Today, the world will not stand in our way. Today, the game comes down to him and me. I have arrived, Moran. Engaging your shield now! With our limited resources, we can cover you for five minutes and talk. That is all I will require. Are you properly armed, Professor? I have one actuality grenade. I'm going on my nose. You ain't got the proper mass. You'll never take them all out with that. I know the calculations, Moran. I'm always five steps ahead of the bloody computer. Gravity is not an issue yet. Just mere matter manipulation. Many years ago, I discovered the secret of dark matter in the jungles of Burma, where an aberration of nature altered reality as we know it. This is how I learned to harness dark energy, which would manipulate the molecular structure of whatever reality it encounters. Harnessing this power would give one the ability to render anything into an alternate state of being. Reduce reality to its simplest parts, then break it. Quite simple, if you can control the disruption fields on the fly, which I can. 
Kate, my dear, you may want to engage your shield.